Hello, this is Daniel Mart. And yeah, so the Oscar Awards, the Academy Awards, start in about 15 minutes. Um, at the time of shooting this video, at 15 minutes. Um, don't know how when it's gonna be once it actually start when I it actually uploads. So yeah, um, so yeah, really excited for it. it. Starts in 15 minutes, 14 minutes right now. Uh, so yeah, basically what I'm gonna be doing now is just some quick predictions to remind you guys what my hopes are for every single category, all 24 categories. Um, you know the top the the top choice for each category, and maybe a quick reason as to why. Um, so yeah, uh, 13 minutes. No, wait, still 14, almost 13. So yeah, for best picture. So yeah, for best picture, I predict Boyhood will will win. Um, just because it took 12 years, I think that's a major gimmick in my opinion. I mean, I thought it was a pretty good movie. I don't think it was the best movie this year. But I, I'm not even worthy enough to be my top 10 or top 20. For this year, but I do think just because it took 12 years, it's gonna win Best Picture. For Best Actor, I go for Eddie Remain, Eddie Redmain in The Theory of Everything. Um, mostly because you know he had to be because after after like every 15 minutes, he had to to lose a body part, quote unquote, lose a body part. So he, he had to be more restrained, in my opinion. For Best Actress, Leading Actress, I I would have to go with Reese Witherspoon's. Um, I, yeah, I still have to go with Reese with the spoons. Rosamund Pike, she was pretty great being psychotic, and Julianne Moore, I think, uh, she she did okay, in my opinion. She wasn't the best. I mean, she, I did like how the way she forgot stuff over the course of the time, and and still Alice, but I still have to go with Reese with the spoons. Um, and Wild, I thought she gave an excellent performance. And yeah, for best supporting actor, J.K. Simmons. I mean, is there any other reason why I should explain why J.K. Simmons? Um, for Best Supporting Actress, I go with Kira Knightley, um, in the theory of, uh, I mean, in the imitation game. Oh, by the way, J.K. Simmons is in Whiplash. Kira Knightley in the imitation game. Um, she's really great in my opinion. She was, um, she was probably on par with, with Benedict Cumberbatch. Um, Best Animated Film, um, f you know, film, I would have to go with Big Hero 6. I still think that, the, despite the fact that I didn't really like the Lego movie, I still think that the Lego movie was snubbed. I didn't see How to Train Your Dragon 2 <clears throat> or Princess of, of Kaguya. So, yeah, so I'd have to go with Big Hero 6 and that and Songs of the Sea and Box Shows. I, not, apparently not many people liked it from what I hear. Best Cinematography, I'd have to go with the Grand Budapest Hotel. I thought it was really beautifully shot, in my opinion. Though Birdman and, and Unbroken, I do think could give them a run for their for its money. For Best Costume Design, I'd give it for the Grand Budapest Hotel. You know, just the way it was stylized. I thought it was really great, in my opinion. I'm really fun, and yeah, for best directing or best director or whatever. Um, in in my opinion, I'd have to go for the Imitation Game. I forget I forget the guy who directs the Imitation Game, but but for me, directing wise, I do think that one's the best directed in my opinion. Birdman, I thought was good. Um, good, but I, do I but I do think there was sometimes that faltered, especially within like the last five minutes. I thought the last five minutes of Birdman was complete shit. In my opinion, just my opinion, just the last five minutes. If you've seen the movie, you understand why. But for me, Imitation Game would have to go for Best Director or Best Directing. Um, Best Documentary Feature, I'd have to go with The Last Days in Vietnam. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen any of the documentaries, so I'm just going off from what I've heard. Um, Best Documentary Short, I go with White Earth. Same thing. Haven't seen any of them. Just going with what I've heard. Best Film Editing, I'd have to go with Boyhood, just because it took twelve years to actually make. I am kind of surprised with that. That Birdman wasn't under this category. Um, the best foreign film, I would have to go with Ida. Um, from what I've heard, it was pretty good, though. I have heard that Tim Buck 2 and Leviathan were also pretty well done, in my opinion. Best makeup and hairstyle, I'd have to go with the Grand Budapest Hotel. Uh, pretty similar to the best costume design and stuff. It's really well. Uh, Foxcatcher, I really don't see why it is on the... Why it's here. Sorry about that. Um... Uh, my TV just decides to go all wonky right now. Um, so yeah, I mean, for me, Foxcatcher, I really see no reason why it should really be on here because Stephen Crowell, that's just, I mean, really the only reason why Foxcatcher is on this list for makeup and hairstyles is because of the nose job, in my opinion. Guardians of the Galaxy, that probably could give it a run for its money. Best original score, I'd have to go for Interstellar because, you know, Hans Zimmer. Um, best original song, I'd have to go with Glory. Which is in Selma, which I think was a really underrated movie this year, um, or last year. Um, best production design, I'd have to go with the Imitation Game. Just the way, again, the way it was produced and the way it was shot and everything, I thought was really well done. 
um, best animated short film, I'd have to go with Feast, um, which is the and really it's the only short film I saw this year, animation wise. Best live action short film, I'd have to go with the Phone Call. I haven't seen any of the live action short films, so yeah, I'm just going off from what I've heard. Best sound editing, I'd have to go with Interstellar. Again, it's really the way it sounded was really well done, in my opinion. It's, and but to be fair, the the place I saw it had these loud speakers, um. So yeah, I think that kind of helps. Best sound mixing, however, I'd have to go with Whiplash, um, because you know you have the jazz drums going all all over the place. But Interstellar could also give it a run for its money. Best visual effects, I'd have to go with Interstellar because you're, I mean you're showing space for 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 God's sakes. Now Guardians of the Galaxy that could give it a run for its money because it is also showing some animated characters, and Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Well, it's showing like all the extras are basically apes, quote unquote. So yeah, I mean Days of Future Past, that, not maybe, but no. And Captain America: Winter Soldier, I really find no reason for it to be here. Um, yeah, but I do think that Edge of Tomorrow. And the Hobbit Battle of the Five Armies was possibly snubbed. I've even heard Age of Extinction being snubbed, but that one's kind of questionable because it's also being nominated for Razzies at the same time. So yeah, um, best adapted screenplay. I'd have to go with the Theory of Everything, one of my favorite movies of, of last year, and this is also kind of a reason why. Though for adapted screenplay, I kind of do question as to whether or not Foxcatcher should be on this because it is based on a true story. Now I don't really know um, what the terms for adapted screenplay means. Does it? You know, based on the novel or whatnot, I have no idea, but I do think Foxcatcher should have been on the list. And best original screenplay, I'd have to go with Boyhood because 12 years to make it. So yeah, that's basically it for my quick predictions on the Oscars. I've said them before, I'm seeing them again. Um, so yeah, and right now I have about 5 minutes to the Oscars, uh, or not 5 minutes, 7-ish minutes for the Oscars to begin. And yeah, hopefully you guys... Enjoy the Oscars. Um, yeah, The Walking Dead actually. The Walking because the wait, give me a quick second because it's it's from eight to eleven and The Walking Dead is from nine to ten. So I don't know if I'm gonna because I am gonna record the Oscars just in case of anything. But I don't know if I'm gonna go halfway at like nine or yeah, go at nine, watch The Walking Dead and return at ten. Um, either way, I'm gonna record it so possibly. So because yeah, if I, yeah, because my friend's gonna be talking about it at school and if I watch in the morning. Before I go to the bus, I'm only going to be watching like the first 20 minutes. So maybe. I don't know. I'll decide. Either way, by Tuesday at the latest, at Tuesday at the la latest, I should be giving my thoughts on the Oscar winners and everything that's ha that happened by the latest Tuesday. So yeah, at this point, I have about five minutes to upload this. So hopefully you guys enjoy the Oscars. Comment all down, all down below on your predictions. And yeah, that's basically it for now. Um, I may be doing some quick live action. Um, not live action. Um, just giving my th quick thoughts on each winner as they go by. I have no idea. Maybe just cut it. I don't know. I'll decide. Um, that's basically it for this review. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I do movie reviews, TV show reviews, and comic book reviews. Comment down below on your thoughts on the video. Like the video. Share on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or whatever you guys prefer. That's basically it for now. This is Daniel Mart signing off.